this was a first. Even for me. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's get on, shall we? Hello there. DB Explores here in my headquarters, or should I say my safe space. <laughs> And welcome to episode one of Confessions of a Railway Worker. This is my new video log series where I'll share with you my life on the railway. So things I've gotten up to, things that I'm working towards, have achieved. And then talk about general topics in regards to the railway and even outside of it as well. And even a little bit of my life outside of the railway, so to say. Now, this is the introductory episode of it, so I want to try and, I don't want to, to linger on too much, you know, because it is just the introductory episode and we'll talk more deeply and in depth as the series unfolds. Now, in case you're wondering, who am I, may you ask? You know what? I'm going to answer that question right now. So, who am I, may you ask? Well, call me DB. And, um, yeah, and I'll, uh, I'll try and keep this as short and sweet as possible. Um, I'm a railway worker. I'm based in London, and I work for a well-known train operating company. Uh, probably one of the most controversial train operating companies out there. And I work in a multi-skilled role where I do gate line duty. So I check tickets at the uh, automatic ticket barriers, answer questions, you know, general inquiries, train information, that sort of thing. And I also do platform duties where I dispatch trains. You know, I do basically safety critical duties. Again, there's a bit of customer service in that as well. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm in a frontline customer facing role and I've been doing roles like that for a number of years now, but on the railway, I've been, I've got, I've got five years, just over five years worth of railway experience, which all started from when I first undertook agency work for a well-known agency who supply personnel to quite large train operating companies um, and they used to send me around various different stations mainly in South London and to this day I'm grateful to that agency for taking me on training me and you know and and enabling me to gain valuable experience which helped me to reach where I am today. And to this day, I'm still trying to push myself to go over and beyond, you know, and explore my horizons. Um, yeah, yeah, and yeah, we'll talk more about that later on in the series. Um, hobbies and interests, hmm. Yeah, let's, let's look into that. Ah, hobbies, hobbies, hobbies. <laughs> well, my biggest hobby today is riding London bus routes and exploring London by bus, you know, and learning the various different areas, the routes themselves, etc. That's something I've been doing for the last 20 years now. Um, and I do wish that when I started doing it, which was when I was in secondary school at the time, um, I wish I'd gone to WH Smith or one of those bookstores, got myself a notebook and just jot down all the routes I went on, when I went on them, the the vehicles that we used to operate the routes, you know, when the routes changed, that sort of thing, because that's, that's, that's the thing that happens all the time. You know, because you've got these 
many different routes. In London, there's there's hundreds of them, and I've probably been on more than half of them during my twenty years of exploring bus routes. Well, riding bus routes in London, um, and yeah, and they always change every so often. You know, um, whether it's if it's the the bus operating companies that run them, the vehicles that run on them, uh, the actual route itself, whether it's withdrawn somewhere or extended or simply rerouted somewhere else, which is something that happens all the time, you know? Um, yeah, and uh, and then I also use trains the underground if I need to, the Croydon tram link, you know, and just go wherever. You know, and, and it helps me understand being able to get to various different places from where I live and also in terms of being at work or in general sometimes, you know, helping people get to wherever they need to go, which is something that a lot of, a, a lot, most people who know me, know me for, if that makes sense. Um... And since joining the railway, I've been able to venture out of London, across the country, and more recently, I've been going around the West Midlands, you know, places like Birmingham, Walsall, uh, Wolverhampton, West Bromwich, and then heading further out into places like Cannock, Hensford, Lichfield, you know, those those parts of uh, of Staffordshire, which I will be going back to in the future. Yeah, and I've been working on a little project about certain things up there. I'm not going to reveal too many details because it's a bit early in the st- early. St- it's in the early stages at the moment, but in t- in due course you'll find out, and you'll find out on this on this channel. Um, and yeah, and then apart from that, yeah, I enjoy watching various TV shows. Um, I used to watch soaps a lot. Um, I don't really have time for them at the moment, but yeah, I mean, EastEnders was the main one that I watched for the majority of my life until about a year or two ago, and um, and also Neighbours, Home and Away, Coronary Street, Emmerdale, etc. But other than that, going out and exploring on public transport. That's my main thing. That's my main hobby. That's the one thing I enjoy the most. Hmm. Um, there are quite a few YouTubers who are among my favourite YouTubers to date. Um, and the ones I'll mention are the ones who've, whose videos I've been following for some time now. Um, the first one is a guy called Richard, aka Dadrail. Now he's currently a freight train driver and a former passenger train driver who's been on the railway for a long time now, probably more than 15 years or so. Um, and he's also a keen role enthusiast who's he's he's made quite a lot of interesting and rather immersive and insightful videos over the years such as his uh, train driver vlog series where he talked about the job itself the different situations that he got into and you know and and stuff like that um, and a few other interesting video such as the one that he released about seven years ago now where he talked about how level crossings work in which he got his wife to help out with the uh, with, with, with the video itself um, as a matter of fact I'll drop a link to that video in the description of this video but other than that yeah yeah I mean I've, I've really enjoyed I've been enjoying his videos and other than that, yeah, if you're watching, this is a shout out to you. 
and uh, keep up the good work. One of my favourite YouTubers is this guy. Some of you may already know who this guy is. If you don't, meet Anton, aka Double Decker Anton. Now I met him in June this year when I spotted him parked very close to London Bridge Station. I was on the bus heading home when I went past this bus, looked inside and I recognised him. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to get off the bus, run back and have a quick chat. Now he's a friendly Yorkshireman who's been driving buses in London, south of the river that is, for a number of years. Although he's been a bus driver for over 20 years, he gives a real in-depth insight into the bus driving profession. Real examples of situations which bus drivers face on a daily basis. Now if you want to see examples of the content that he talks about in terms of the job and other things, I recommend you go over to his channel and check out his videos. I will provide a link in the description of this video. A couple other YouTubers I'd like to quickly mention before I wrap up. Um, the first one is Reno, who is a uh, very much like Anton. He's a London bus driver who works for one of the largest bus operators in the country. Um, seen mostly in East London. I spotted him on a bus route in the Hackney area, which runs from Stoke Newington to Newham Hospital in East London, um, in the Newham area. And I completely forgot that there's a station I went to, um, Hackney Central, I think it was, where on the North London line, which runs through there on London Overground, there was engineering works going on. So I thought, what other way could I take to go to Stratford? So I went to Hackney Downs, got on a train to Liverpool Street, and another train from Liverpool Street to Stratford, and I bumped into Renault again at Stratford bus station. Great timing. So I went with him to the last stop, had a quick chat with him. Yeah, he's a really yeah, he's a nice guy, and uh, and I and I really do like how he's honest, he's clear, concise, and straight to the point in the videos that he was making about being in being in the role of a bus driver. I mean, very much like Anton and the next bus driver who I'd like to quickly mention gives a real insight as to the things that bus drivers have to deal with on a daily basis. So yeah, but other than that, I'll also add a link to his channel in the description of this video. And the last one I'd like to mention, uh, a guy called Peter, who goes by the name of Bristol RE. Now I've been watching this video for over 10 years. And I have to I have to admit, um, I really like them. And I've got a feeling I might have seen him without even realising it in North London. Um, now, he's, he's a long-serving bus driver. He's been driving buses since 1986. And, um, and, um, and he probably find him in parts of North London such as Enfield or maybe even Edmonton or wherever you know and I like how he how he enjoys buses you know letting them driving them and then going to various different locations taking shots of them you know basically bus spotting you know and it's really it's really cool to see that you know because it's it's a lifelong passion and when you're passionate about something, you want to continue pushing yourself to go further and further and further. And you really enjoy it to the point where you will keep doing it. You want you want to keep doing it probably the day you die or for as long as possible. It's really great as well. I mean, for me personally, going on the buses and all that, it's been really good therapy for my mental health. Really, really good therapy. As a matter of fact, that I will talk to you about later on in the series. Right, I'm going to end the episode here. I'd like to say thank you if you watched all the way through to this point. Much appreciated. And a quick shout out to all the YouTubers mentioned, and I'll put a link to each and every one of their channels in the description of this video. In the meantime, if you have any questions, any queries or topic that to talk about or anything else, 
please put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to make sure I get back to you ASAP. Other than that, thank you again for watching and I shall see you in the next episode. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day and be good to one another. Bye-bye.